that's an Iranian music video that's using humor to point out a really absurd truth. Your vote in the US presidential election could impact their lives more than yours. <laughs> The band is called Dasandos, and their new song, which is actually a spoof of an older Iranian song, has one very important message. The outcome of US presidential elections has a huge impact on ordinary Iranians' lives in Iran. But how does this work? I talked to my friend Esfandiar Badmanklij, who studies the Iranian economy closer than anyone else I know personally. First and foremost, I want to ask you, what was your reaction to this song? Well, first off, I thought it was brilliant, really because of how accurate it was. But this guy gets elected in the US, he doesn't win the popular vote, the Electoral College makes him president, and he puts into motion a set of policies that lead to enormous price increases in Iran. Here's what he's talking about. In 2018, Donald Trump withdrew the United States from the Iran nuclear deal, signed between world powers and Iran back when this guy was president. The deal started a process of lifting decades of US sanctions targeting Iran's economy. In exchange, Iran promised to limit its nuclear enrichment program. But then, Trump straight up violated the deal and reimposed economic sanctions on Iran. It was a slap in the face to the US's European allies too, who really wanted the deal to work. That sent the Iranian currency crashing. It lost a ton of value, a ton. In the 11 months following uh, when Trump pulled out of that deal, the price of food in Iran went up 85%. An exceptional thing can happen in an election, you know, 6,000 miles away. And that really changes kind of the trajectory for Iranians of all walks of life. The Trump administration's sanctions on Iran have been inhumanely harsh. They've not only sent food prices soaring, but they've also denied Iranians access to life-saving medical supplies, shut off avenues for humanitarian aid, and destroyed entire livelihoods. You know, I think it was a humorous way to call attention to a very significant thing, which is that Americans should be aware that their votes really do count and in ways that often they can't even fathom. This extends pretty far back into history too. Let's rewind to say President Bill Clinton, a Democrat. After Americans elected Bill Clinton president, he passed the Iran-Libya Sanctions Act in 1996, putting more pressure on Iran's economy. But then Iran elected a reformist president, Mohammad Khatami, who wanted better ties with the West. So some moves were made to dial back sanctions, sanctions on some pretty Iranian things like Persian rugs, caviar, pistachios, and dried fruits, things that you might find in my house. Oh, this is from Trader Joe's. There's even a story about how the two were extremely close to shaking hands at the United Nations, but then it all fell through. Soon enough, George Bush, a Republican, is president. After 9-11, Iran was one of the first countries to express condolences to the United States. Iran helped the US oust the Taliban in Afghanistan, and Iran also expresses interest in further dialogue with the US. But then Bush turns around and suddenly labels Iran as part of the axis of evil and works with the United Nations to slap on more sanctions. I notice a pattern. And that's the end of their little collab. In some ways, it torpedoes Iran's reformist presidency. And soon after, we see the rise of conservative populist president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Think of him as the Trump of Iran. Then Obama, a Democrat, wins the 2008 election. Okay, so fast forward a few years past Ahmadinejad and Iran elects a new neoliberal moderate president, Hassan Rouhani, who wants to engage with the West again. And eventually Iran, Europe, Russia, China, and the US all come together to hammer out a truly groundbreaking diplomatic agreement to end decades of tensions and roll back sanctions that are hurting ordinary Iranians. But then this guy comes along, rips the deal to shreds, and imposes those sanctions I told you about. You can imagine how Iranians were thinking about the future in 2016 when the economy was growing, when the country was reintegrating with the world, when new opportunities were being created, new jobs, and generally there was a sense of hope in the air to where Iranians are now, which is in a completely different place. And you can really draw the sort of pivotal moment to the election of Donald Trump. Iran's moderate president who bet his whole presidency on the deal now has egg on his face. And things in Iran now are very bleak. So look, which president comes to power in the US has a tremendous impact on ordinary Iranians. I mean, just on the surface, one of them wants to re-enter the Iran deal and the other one, well, Iran, a terrorist nation like few others. And that brings us back to the song by Das Andos. They're not telling you how to vote or whether to vote, but they're pointing out how absurd and mind-boggling it is that your decision at the ballot box and mine could dramatically alter their lives more than ours. Hey, Peter, oh, 
میشه تو آمریکا